just wrong. Gary owns the factory, you're renting the factory. Traditionally, money changes hands. Yes, but if he got the factory illegally off Derry... Uh, has anybody heard from David? Have you got any proof? Excuse me, can anybody hear me? Oh, Mum, can I have that back, please? Because that's important. Your sister-in-law's in a coma. Your brother's beside himself, and all you care about is where you're going to pack your knickers. There's a lot of jobs at risk here. Yes, well, Shona's life's at risk. And I might not be some hotshot lawyer, but if you want my advice, if you don't like the idea that your ex-boyfriend owns the building, find another building. David, how is she? Any change? Yeah, she's up and about. Soon I'll lambard her down the corridors. I just popped back for a maracas. Oh. Don't, don't, Mum. You know, you don't have to bottle it all up. And what do you want me to do? Go stand outside in the street, shaking my fist up to the sky, tear all my clothes off and run down the street, starkers. Or you could talk to me. <sighs> Shall I put the kettle on? Yeah, go on then. Could do with a decent cup of tea. Got some choppy biscuits somewhere. I hide them from Max and then I can't remember where I put them. I just don't see how any of this is fair. Now I get banged up. The only thought keeping me sane is seeing Shona's face. And the rest of your family? No, just Shona. See? There you go. There's the old Saki David still in there. And for all the good he's doing. I just feel so helpless. And what's worse is I find myself saying cliches like I feel so helpless. You know, I, I just want to be able to do something, you know? Hit someone, just wake her up out of the coma. Ah! Chucky biscuits. So that's your response, is it, when I'm here spilling my guts out? Ah, chucky biscuits. Jump on or not? Yeah, go on then. I just feel like I'm losing my mind. And just sitting there doing nothing, it's just... I don't want to leave her side, but at the same time, I'm just going mad. I, mean, I even tried doing a Sudoku this morning. Me. They also serve who stand and wait. Where'd you get out from? Uh, don't know. Maybe a film? Or was it tea towel? Anyway, what it means is we all have our place in the world and we all have our jobs Mum, I know what it means, all right? English is not my second right. language. No need to bite me head off. I'm only trying to cheer you up. Yeah, well, you're not belping. No. I know I'm not. But always remember... I'm here for you. Yeah, all right. Don't start me off, because if you do, I won't be able to stop. I just nip back for some clubs anyway. What about your tea? I'm putting some washing on. Can I do you any? I don't care what they say anymore. This is my life. Do 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 What the hell do you think you're doing? Josh's trials tomorrow. Why didn't you say? I can't believe you go from my pockets like that. I'm not gonna wash the jacket, the letter fell out. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point, is it? I mean, you are going, aren't you? You are one of the main witnesses. Well, don't you think I've got enough problems on at the minute? Like the fact that my wife's in a coma. There's nothing you can do for Shona right now. She's in the best place possible. Yeah, but she needs me by her side all the time. Which is why I can't waste any more time having this argument. And if Josh gets off because you couldn't spare a couple of hours, can you live with that? Do you think that's what Shona would want? I can't believe he didn't say anything. Must have known for ages. I don't think there's any room in his head for anything but Shona right now. 
We just sat by her bedside. I mean, how long is it going to take to give evidence? I know it's not the most appealing prospect, but I can take him, I can pick him back up. What's that? A couple of hours. Doesn't want to leave his side. I wish I'd been there for him, you know. And all this stuff with Josh had happened. Whatever happens to Shona, and let's hope she makes a full recovery, but... What happens if Josh goes free? And in a couple of months, David sees him swanning about. And he blames himself. Talk to him. He doesn't listen to me. But he might his big brother. Crucible. Don't worry. Can I give you a picture of how much damage there is? Yeah, well, I think she's getting better. I know I'm no doctor, but I know she is. Let's hope you're right. Thanks. Hey? Uh, any developments? No. But, I mean, she won't give up. I won't give up on her, so... I'll stay with Shona. You nip home now and get changed for the court. Do you think I give a stuff about court? Well, the police will. You're a no show today, they'll come looking for you. Yeah, well, let them. I'm in my place, is here. Oh, come on, Mum's right. Do you really want to give Josh a get out of jail free card? I want my wife to wake up. I want my life back. And he's in the past, and it's one walk down memory lane. I'm not bothered about taking it. Oh, okay, right. No, I know you're frightened about standing up. I'm not frightened about right. him. That's why I waived my right to go and see him in court in the first place. And anyway, don't you think things have changed? He's still a danger to other men. But you've got a chance to put him away. I mean, you can't turn your back on that. Well, I can if it means turning my back on my wife. Right, uh, what do you think Shona would say if she could talk now? Shona wants Josh nailed. Just as much as you do, maybe even more. Do you really want your first conversation when she wakes up? You apologising for letting him walk free? Ah, uh, is everything all right? I was looking for Mr. Platt, actually. Uh, well, he's had to pop out, but uh, I'm his mother. Can I help? I need to talk to your son. Is he likely to be long? I don't know exactly. Uh, is something wrong? It's concerning Shona's latest scan. I can't really go into detail, but there's something I have to discuss with Mr. Platt. I knew it. I knew if I went through that door, something bad were going to happen. Don't have a go, Mum. You've been totally irrational. I don't even know if it's bad news yet. How did the trial go? Mum, I don't care about the trial, all right? I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. I mean, David. What's happened? Is she all right? Has anything happened? We conducted another scan. There was no discernible deterioration, so hopefully this might indicate that her condition has stabilised. Right, what's that mean? It means we have to proceed on the assumption that this might be as good as it gets in terms of extubating your wife. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, could you explain? If Sean is to breathe without assistance, now's the time to find out. So we're going to try to remove the breathing tube again. And what happens if she can't breathe on her own? If that was the case, we'd wait a while, continue monitoring her, then hopefully try again later. Yeah, but I mean, she will eventually breathe on her own, though, won't you? I'm afraid that's not a guarantee I can give at this stage. He's barely talking to me. Have either of you heard anything about the court case? If this doesn't work... Hey, I know, I know. Oh, hello. Have you spoken to the consultant? Not today, no. But then there's not much more they can say, is there? I'm going to take the tube out. If she doesn't breathe, just put it back in again. And then what? Think about that if it comes to it. Well, and then they'll try again until I consent to them turning the machines off. And if I refuse, they get a court order. They do it anyway. Did they say that? No, but there's this thing, you know, it's called the internet. It sort of tells you things. It won't come to that. 
Well, no. I mean, they might take the tube out and then she might die. Oh, David. What? What? Go on. Finish your sentence. David, what? Nick, if you've got something to say that's going to make me feel better, say it. I'm sorry. I mean, look at her. She's alive. I know she's in a coma, but... She's alive. Are they still on the Oh, love the shoes. Thanks. Who's that? Is that a consultant? No, it was just a doctor. You sure it wasn't a consultant? No, he was young. I think he was a trainee. Well, what did he say? Nothing. Well, what's happened then? Has there been a change? No. Come on, look. Uh, calm down, eh? No, th th this is why I need to be here all the time, because if I miss Nothing something... Nothing has happened. I was making conversation. I said I liked his shoes. Right, y you do me a favour. Can you just go home, OK? The pair of no, you. No, 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 they're going to be prepping for the procedures. No, they're not. What? Right, excuse me. Yeah, you with the shoes. Can you let everybody know that there'll be no extubating today? Look, ignore him. No, don't ignore me, all right? If you want to get to where, you've got to go through me. What do we do? What do we do? I don't know, okay? I can't just barge in there and drag him out, can I? He's freaking out. He needs some space. I'm not saying goodbye to you. No one is. Give you some space. Yeah. You tell them lot just to ignore me. And um you think you could ring Billy and the others? I think you're right. I think she's just bored of my voice. Okay. Hold on, did you just say I was right? <laughs> Max. Yeah, it's me. Um no, no change yet, but, uh, listen, do you think you could get somebody to bring you in? Oh. What's happening? The alarms mean she's not coping on her own. OK, you may need to ventilate her again and a tracheostomy. Let's just give her a little longer. She's breathing on her own. I think she's going to be all right.
Hey, you okay? Yeah, well, I mean, if you ask me, she's getting stronger and stronger every day. She even tried to open her eyes up before, so... I don't think it'll be much longer before she's coming home with us. David, the doctors did say mm. that it'd be a long road to recovery. Yeah, well, Dad, I'm gonna have to go because Voice of Doom's here now. And there's no guarantee that she'll get back to normal. Mm. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. David, I... Mum, if you want to carry on coming here, then I suggest you be a bit more positive. I'm a very positive person. How? Well, if I was on the loose women panel, I'd be Stacey Solomon. What's that mean? Well, she's always very perky. Oh. Where are you going? I'm going to call the school, all right? I want the teachers to record some messages from the kids because she responded really well to all that stuff in the cafe before. David. What? Her brain might not be up to it. Well, it's Shona's brain we're talking about, not yours. The doctor said she might have lasting brain damage. Yes. But she might not be the same person. Well, she's breathing on her own now. So it goes to show how much they know, OK? Now, I'm going to call the school. Hello. Rough dealing with this myself. Well, Fizz has got some answering to do. She bought the gold. Oh, apparently so. I don't say anything. The last thing he needs now is to be kicking off. She opened her eyes. Thought she's going to recover. Doctors are in there over now. That's great news. Isn't it? It's the best news ever, Dave. What do you think he's think? She suggests she's slowly emerging from her coma. Yeah, I told him that. Shona, try and say something, OK? That's it. That's it, go on. You're doing really well. Shona, look at me. Shona? Shona. It's David. Poor thing. Waking from a coma can be very protracted. The patient can have setbacks. They may well be muddled and confused at times. They will need time and support. This can be a difficult time for everyone. Do you know what protracted means, David? Do you know what patronising means? David. Doctor, it's like she didn't know who he was. Mum, I'm, I'm sure she's bound to be a bit... Distracted? Disorientated. Yeah, that's, um... That's what I meant to say. I just thought she'd be pleased to see me. I think you could do with a bit of a break. What? A trip to Magaluf? No, just, like, go home and have a shower or... go for a walk. I don't know. How is she? He means Shona. Really? Thanks, Gail. Is she going to die? No, of course she's not going to. Where's Lil? Uh, upstairs. She got upset earlier. It's going to be OK. You're right. They want us to talk him out of it. Ah, I see. Why are you here? Yeah, some chocolate or something. Huh? What's going on? Not my idea. You've taken him out of school. Yeah, I did. Because this is important. I mean, Shona doesn't remember me, but seeing them, it might trigger something. Her eyes were flickering when I was talking about Max. Right, I don't think that means anything. No, but it might mean everything. I mean, she's bound to remember something with them stood in front of her. She loves them like they're her own. Well, that's what worries me. I mean, if she's in such a bad state, it might distress them. Yeah, your mum's right. Yeah, and I've explained that to them. I said that she might be acting a bit strange and she might not see herself. And they understand that. OK, I don't think you should be using the kids like this. Well, if it works, then why not? And if it doesn't? Well, then we've lost nothing. Have we? Right. I'll remember what I said. Okay. 
She might be a bit confused and she might struggle with her speech, okay? But just be very gentle. I will. Me too. Okay. Jonah. Jonah. Hi. Someone didn't see you. Are you feeling poorly? See? See? You remember him, don't you? Hiya. Clayton. Clayton. Leave me alone. She didn't mean it, okay? She called me Clayton. I know, she just got her words mixed up, that's all. She thinks I'm him. But she doesn't, she's just confused. I hate her. Right, when she comes home, we can talk all this through. I hope she never comes home. Max. Hey, hey where are you going? Home. Well, let's all go home together, eh? Uh, no, I'll, um, I'll meet you at the car. Right, who wants a pizza? Me! Right, come on. Four in English, six in... What if that's all she can remember, though? I mean, what if she's stuck in the past somewhere and she literally thinks Max is Clayton? What then? I mean, I'm going to have to bring her to the present myself. Uh, no, David, leave it to the doctors. But I mean, they're not going to do anything, are they? I mean, let's face it, Mum. All they are is just a bunch of strangers shining lights in her eyes. Mum, do you think you could go home and get me something? Oh, David, Look, I... please, please. All right, I'm only here because Shona didn't give up on me. I owe her just the same. Are you sure this is a good idea? Might upset her. You have to try. You just give us a minute. joggers because I'd, I'd just been released from prison that day you remember and we made our vows right and, and I said something stupid like keep your eyes upon the donut and not the hole and always think of the good things and not the bad things because you're my good thing I've never loved you more than in that moment do you remember it was the best day of my life. You must be able to remember. Look, and, and then you dragged me home, and you said, oh, God, you stink. But when was the last time I had a shower? But you didn't care because I love you, David. Do you remember? And then you took me upstairs to bed. You must be able to remember this. No. Look, look, look at your face. Look how happy you are there. That's you. That's me. You must be able to remember this. Look. Shona, Shona, listen to me. Do you not? Do you not feel anything? No. Not in at all. You, you, mu you must. I told you Shona, no. Just, Push her too hard. No, no. just it's look. Okay. No. Okay. We may need to get back to the calm, right? No. Look. Get, get, look, look please, please, just leave. Uh, just now. Come on, come on, Dave. Uh, don't. 
want to hit me again. Any progress? How's Max? Well, he's been a bit quiet. He didn't eat much. He's gone up to his room. All right, I'll go and see him. Well, he said he wanted to be left alone. What, even by me? He's upset this one. He'll calm down. You know, we had a good chat about people with brain injuries can improve, how well, I can... Nick, can you stop turning this round on to you? I mean, it's not the same. She doesn't know who I am. She doesn't know who she is. She's, she's not there. Look, David, it's just going to take time. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I said. Right, can you just shut up, all of you? I'm off to the pub. We didn't mean to be heavy-handed. We were all worried about you. What if she never recovers? There's no reason to think that. The doctor said a rehab unit would help. The power! A good teaching. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. Oh, no. oh, it's going to be hard. I can't believe it. I hope so. Come on, sir. Two sex girls. I just need to water the weasel. Oh, oh no. It looks very roomy, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's the best I can do. Oh, it's massive. Dennis would have loved this. Oh, isn't it jumping? Are you just pleased to see me? <laughs> yeah, he always fancied himself as king of the world. Thanks. Yeah, I wish you two had sort it out. I'm sick of him mooning round the taxi office with a face like Drippy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Oh, no, none, none for me, please. I thought you liked being a collapse. And Jeff says alcohol disagrees with me. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, no, uh, yeah, okay. Woo. I won't find this driver. We'll never get to Blackpool at this rate. Hard to believe, isn't it, that it was life before mobile phones? No, tell me about it. Amy can't believe that you used to have to make an arrangement to meet somebody and then turn up on time. Yeah, there was no texting, I'm running late. Well, if you ran late in my day, you got left behind. Things aren't all sunshine and lollipops for us these days. No, clearly not. Your generation seems to think we've got it so easy, but you've actually got no idea the pressure that we're under. My mate, from school. She was self-harmed. It was all because of stuff that she'd read online. Yeah, it's true. I mean, the things I've read about internet bullying, it's awful. Oh, I wouldn't be a teenager again for a gold clock. Oh, please. My generation lived through a world war. When were you born? 1946. Well, the war finished in 1945. Yes, but there were still repercussions. God, I mean... Young girls today with their Snapchatting and the food intolerances and the sliding down the shower walls, sobbing. Oh, which teen movies are you watching? You try making out you've got food intolerances when there's rationing on. Just see how far you get. Yeah, but it's not like... Uh, yeah, and another thing, if I'd talked to my father the way the kids talked to theirs, he'd have knocked me through the front window and I'd have had to pay for the glass. Mm. And those were better times. I did not say that they were better. I said they were harder. And we were harder, too. And we had to be. I hadn't realised. What are you doing? Know. He's just got a dicky bladder. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Cheers. It's Tim. I don't want to talk to him. Tim, you're on loudspeaker. Mary, turn the music down. Yasmin, what's going on? I want to speak to my wife. Oh, which one? Which one? <laughs> Is it really necessary to be so unkind? Sally, I don't know how many times I can keep saying that. But the reason why I get up in the morning, you know, the reason why I go to bed. Go <laughs> ahead. You're my sun, my moon, the sky, the stars. 
I really messed up. But I didn't know that I was messing up. Probably mess up again. And again. If only I could... Put that... Idiot part of me away that keeps messing up. But I can't, because it's part of me. I'd be bald head. <laughs> Is Des? Is that a heart attack? Sal Sally's having a moment here. I'm not joking. I've just been on the phone to the ambulance. They're on the way. Maybe he peed on the electric fence and has given himself a nasty shock. <laughs> Elementary sense of first aid. I've watched the ER box set twice. Right, that's it. Well, what are you doing? Hey, you can't drive. You've had a drink. Water only. Rita, stop. You don't know the power of these big rigs. I'm a fast learner. <laughs> oh. I am going to Blackpool by hook or by crook. Get there if I have to walk all the way. Are you sure there was no one else involved? I didn't see anyone. Mum, I took my eye off the ball for a second, then that was it. Crunch. Yes, but you have been dog tired lately, David Love. Come on, are you sure you didn't just fall asleep? I think David's well aware of the mistake he made. A play starts soon. Yeah, I, I know it does, Lil, all right? But my head's all over the place. I've just crashed the car. I need to get it fixed. Oh, and I've got a meeting. Um, look, I tell you what. Aunt Leanne would love to see it. Why doesn't she take you and Max? Well, she? Yeah. I don't want to go. Right. Just Lily, then. Look, I'll just go and give her a ring, OK? Yeah. Yes. Got it. Oh, good. The car insurance. Yeah, I want to show whether I renewed it, but I did. Phew. You've heard the expression, burning the candle at both ends. I could do without this right now. Well, maybe this is a wake-up call. A wake-up call to what? Mum, I'm barely hanging on here, all right? Unless you've got some amazing solution that's going to fix everything. Just button it, all right? So? It's fine. I'm covered. How much for? Yeah. Fully calm. Uh, I'm sorry, mate. Your car's a write-off. What? Oh, body work. New radiator, front suspension. Damages will cost more than the car's worth. Ow! I mean, I was only doing about 20. That's all it takes sometimes, isn't it? I'm not making up, believe me. I don't turn work away. So, what? I'm going to need a new car. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help you. Cheers. So what am I going to do now? Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, you still get some insurance money, though, won't you? Yeah, but how long's that going to take? Uh, well, I don't know. Should be about a month. Oh. A month? Great. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have to pull together, I suppose, won't we? Like, a family, like we have been doing. Pull together? You said I won't be staying at Marion's that long. I practically live there. And why are you never here? They're very good questions. Do you honestly... <sighs> well, thanks for volunteering me services. <laughs> Go on, you'll love it. Right, Lily, you ready? Yeah. Oh, Max Love, have you got everything you want? I think so. Yeah. Come on, then, and I'll drive you to Marion's. So, when shall we meet again? That's well, up to David, isn't it? Well, what are your movements over the next few days? Yeah. How are you going to get to Leeds without a car? Well, it's not working, is it? Which bit? Well, any of it. I mean, I'm over the Pennines every day, you know, I'm hardly seeing the kids. So what are you saying? Well, what I'm saying is it needs to stop. Now. What, so me and Lily can stay here? Well, is that what you want? Do you want me around more? Do you want your tea ready made for you when you get in? Yeah. And me. Right, well, then that's what we'll do. I mean, that's what you wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Wonderful. Me. It's 
makeup and magazines everywhere. Item number two, guest list. I thought we'd already done the guest list. Well, yes, but as your wedding planner, uh, I thought it prudent to put it on the list. No, no, Mum, you're not the wedding planner, you're just helping. Yes, but I have done rather a lot. And it would be nice to have an official title. You know, for the wedding stationery. Wedding stationery? Yes. Item number six. Do you know, I've always fancied being a wedding planner. Zipping around Cheshire in a little sports car, checking out castles. No, no, we're not having a castle. Yeah, we just want a small wedding because it's Sinead and Sean. Do you know, I was wondering, though, maybe we should invite a few more people. We don't need to be too Ah, oh, right, so this way it's going. We need to go through that Order for King's Road. OK, come on, then. Uh, we just started. No, no, it's fine. You go, I'll finish the rest of this with your mum. Yeah, you can carry on through lunch. Through lunch. Oh, have fun, kids. Now, where were we? Item number three. Give me a call when you get there. Eh? Besides, he's not been this good in weeks, Tom. Mm. Oh, yeah, those cars Steve got some seem to have done the trick. Mm. <laughs> Just heard from David. He's really sorry, but he doesn't think him and Max are going to make it. Oh well, no worries. It's good that they're spending time together again, though, eh? Yeah, it's long overdue. Ah, oh, hiya. Where's your mum? Um, well, she's running a bit late. And um, now there's been a little bit of an issue with the uh, cake. Oh, you didn't go for the gluten-free option, did you? Well, do me a favour. So what's the problem? Uh, well, you know how we agreed on um, an incredible book theme. Hmm. I kind of sent the cake people the wrong picture. Oops, it is, eh? Do you know what? If you want a job doing... Well, it could have been worse. <laughs> How? Well, it could have been the picture of me and coming out the kebab shop. It was like Anian versus Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> well, I'll just have to get another cake. Oh, no, it's all right. They told me how to sort it, so I'm all over it. Hi, everyone. Hiya. Uh, happy birthday, Oliver. It's just a little something. Oh, cheers, buddy. I didn't know he was coming. I invited him. I think he's about to fall asleep at his own birthday party. <laughs> he definitely takes after Steve. Oh, he's always tired since he started that new room at nursery. Well, that's because they work him too hard, isn't he? I mean, they're always doing tests and stuff. Nah, he's just pacing himself, aren't you? <laughs> uh, we should really get on with the cake. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are. I just wanted to say thanks for inviting us. It's really appreciated. Oh, behave. Some people around here need to get over themselves. Just going to change him yeah. in a second. <laughs> Do you reckon? Seriously? What? Two incredible looks for the price of one there. More like a couple of tanked up Yodas. Oh, come on. The ones are critical. So we need to lock off the guest list. How are you doing with yours? Well, there's, there's been a bit of a development. What kind of development? I kind of invited all the factory staff. <laughs> Very funny. Are you serious? I, I felt like I had no choice. Some of them are very easily offended. Yeah, I'm easily bankrupted. Look, if it means less stress, I'm happy to take the hit. Less stress? Are you for real? You do realise this means Beth's going to be in the same room as Bethany and Daniel. And she'll have to suck it up because we're not going anywhere. Hey, can somebody kill the lights, please? That is one mad-looking cake. Well, I think it's very creative. <coughs> oh, at last, some mum with taste. Right, no more Prosecco for mum. <laughs> I'll do better next year. Mm, I'll hold you to that. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oliver. Oh, dear. Happy birthday to you. I'm not angry. Uh, I've never really understood this old plate business. 
Well, it's because she's a learner, Mary. Yeah, but a learner in what? I mean, you can't learn to be a bride. Oh, oh uh, I think it's about the bedroom. Oh, oh, oh yes. A learner in the arts of love. Ooh. You're right, though, Mary. It's totally fine. Well, it is in my case. Oh, oh me oh, about Sarah. Destiny. <laughs> I think round this table we've all passed our test, don't you? In actual fact, I qualify for being an instructor. <laughs> You've got your HGV license. <laughs> all right, so I like muscular men. No wrong with that. <laughs> Give me a four by four over a mini any day. <laughs> Did, you? Did I tell you what I'm wearing tomorrow? Yes. yes. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm just so chuffed. I'm, it's proper designer and only 40 quid. Well, I just love Weatherfield Outlet Mouth. Where's Bethany? She says she'll be here in a minute. Well, it's a bit shoddy for the maid of honour to be late, innit? Hmm. Ah, oh, oh, there she is. Where have you been? Accepting my internship. The boss wants me to start next week. Oh, my God, you are joking me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh I'm so glad you changed your mind. Me too. I know it must have been a hard decision leaving Daniel, but you can come back at the weekends. Yeah, of course I can. Everyone, yeah. so we've got something else to celebrate. Mom, no, oh. please. Bethany has accepted a job in London working for a magazine. Oh. Oh. How could you do that? I can't go on no more. No, nothing's enough, is enough. I won't hear about, I won't hear <laughs> can you do an espresso martini? Oh, I could do your filter coffee with a shot in it. Oh, go on then. Do you fancy doing up where we belong? I'll do it. Oh, great, you've got to be Joe Cocker though, because I'm always Jennifer Warren. Happy to be Cocker. <laughs> you right, Mary? Yes. How is it? Hey, did you see that? Proper eyes glare for our Daniel. Wonder what he's done now. Actually, I have to say, the decor is very classy. Oh, you sound surprised. No, no, not at all. I mean, Sarah has got very good taste. It's probably because she lived in Italy for a while. <laughs> I don't know if I should have given her something stronger. Well, I wouldn't mind. A very large G&T, actually. Can you believe, Daniel? Yeah? Oh, darling, I hate to say I told you so, but... Do you know, it's all just so sad. Why would he do that, though? Well, is it not obvious? Well, he's obviously still in love with Sinead. Yeah. Sorry, love. He's not going to get very far with her, is he? David! Leah! David. Look, um, look. His head's all over the place, isn't it? I mean, I know that, you know that. We all know that. So? So, run for the hills, basically. I'll get it. Well, I don't really think now's the right time for recriminations. Well, I say it in the spirit of solidarity. Hey, oh. sorry about this, guys. You OK, Bethany? What do you want? Look, Daniel's in a bit of a state. Yeah, so is Bethany. Will you see him? She will not. No, I will. You're asking for trouble. Uh, David, please, could you do me a favour while I do? What? 
People are so kind. Oh, Gail, come on. She's about to start a really exciting new life. Yes, but it's not exactly how she planned, is it? No, oh, don't be upset, Gran. Oh, don't worry. She'll be fine. Life is never how we plan it, is it, Gail? True. Oof, we're not going deep, are we, Gran? No, no, no. Shush now. I know things have gone kind of pear-shaped for our Bethany. Oh, right, Robert, and why don't you? No. Oh. And Daniel hasn't exactly been the knight in shining armour, has he? But she's turning a negative into a positive, and we need to do the same, please. Yes, and in a way, I am pleased for you, love. No. Oh. Uh, that's David. Oh! He's outside in the van. Really? Come on. Right. Are we ready? As I'll ever be. Can't believe this is actually happening. <laughs> Well, I've got a really good feeling about this, honestly. If I don't go now, I never will. Uh, listen, keep an eye on Daniel for me. OK. He needs looking after. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Right. Let's load her up. And she doesn't love him. You be careful in that London. Is that what it's called now, that London? <laughs> oh, it's always been called that. Hey, come here, you. Oh, old Have a safe trip. Let's know how you get on, yeah? <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. <laughs> hey, up. Oh, here comes the one that got away. <laughs> Craig, I'm really sorry that things got a bit weird between us. You know, I always work the best for you, yeah? I know. Promise you'll come and visit? Just try and stop me. <laughs> you know, I am so proud of you. Everything you've achieved. What's she achieved? Oh, Nick. Oh, only joke. Always sound like the star you are, yeah? Oh, Craig. <laughs> don't. I'm not wearing waterproof mascara. I don't. I look like a panda by the time I hit the M6. Still not too late, you know. We could come with you. Give us 15, 20 minutes to pack a bag. Look at your hand, Daniel. You're still wearing your wedding ring. I could take it off. You were going to give me hers. It is too late. It's too much. I'm sorry. Don't want me to go. He's the most important thing now. Not me. He needs you to heal. So concentrate on him. Okay. I'm going to get better. I'm going to be a good dad. I promise. I'm so sorry that I messed everything up. You didn't. Life did that for us. You've done nothing wrong. Hi, Bertie. You make sure you call me every single day and you text me every half hour and if you're not updating your status, I'm going to think there's something wrong. <laughs> not like you worry or anything. No. It feels like yesterday you were walking down the cobbles with your school bag in hand. Oh. Are you about to break into a song from Mamma Mia? <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, darling, you're not going to need any luck. You're going to be fine. Come on! Right, keep your hair on. Don't forget to email. No, don't email me. I'm hopeless with technology. <laughs> you OK? Yeah. Send money to your poor northern relatives. Oh, yeah, we'll never say no to money. <laughs> yeah. Bye, darling. I don't know. Can you tell me if Shona's going to read another magazine again? I mean, common sense tells me I should just cancel them, but I don't know. Is, is that like me saying goodbye to that Shona? You don't want to worry about things like that. Just renew them. I know, but what's the point, Mum? She doesn't even remember who I am, so she's not going to be able to remember who was doing what to who on 
whatever trash TV she was watching before everything happened. You can't make decisions like that for her. No matter how trivial they seem. Well, I can't do anything else, can I, considering she won't see me? Well, then you'll just have to go and try again, won't you? Talk to the doctors. Why? Because the only failure is never to have tried. Yeah, I never get bored of your fortune cookie wisdom malarkey. And, hey, Mum, it was you who was telling me that I can't do everything, so... You can't give up on her completely, though, can you? You have to try again. I have tried. Try harder. Cheers! <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I thought you might like something to eat. Why? Because it's dinner time. Oh, great. Thanks. Actually, um, I made it for David, but he didn't come back, so... Um, From where? Visiting Shona. Uh, well, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Who knows? You know, you should have got one of your girls to uh, get something from Roy's. Oh, we're a bit short-staffed. It's not really their job, is it? Well... You know, if you are busy, I could always pop by at lunchtime with a little something. And, and obviously, if there's anything else needs doing. Thanks. Nick, I'm bored. I know, I know, I know, but... Oh, for goodness sake, Nick. I'm offering to do a bit of admin work and bring you a booty. I mean, it's hardly a takeover bit, okay, is it? OK, OK, great. Fine. It's just temporary till we find someone else, all right? Of course. Right. Shall I put the kettle on? <sighs> oh, dear. What happened? Unless you wouldn't see me. Again. I'm sorry. Yeah. And get this right. Apparently, a loving son's been in touch. So the doctors told me they've been having little cosy chats. You kidding? Well, doesn't she know what you did to Kylie? Oh, well, yeah, I've told her. Well, obviously, she doesn't care. I mean, that's off to him. He's seen an opportunity and... He's in. I'll put the kettle on. Ah, oh, has he got you clearing up then, Gail? For your information, I'm here in the office supervisory capacity. Right. Clearing up then? Oh, mine's white, two sugars, Tar Gail. Oh, I think you'll find that she's here in an office supervisory capacity. All right. Oh, hello. I just wanted to... You know, this morning in the cafe when you and Mary were talking... I'm sorry. Mary doesn't know what she's talking about. I promise there's nothing going on between me and Seb. And I believe you. But the point is whether you want there to be something going on, I mean. Why would you say that? If you do, I think I've got a right to know. And if it turns out he feels the same, then I'd sooner just walk away. Hey, Ma. Look, it's okay. I don't need an answer now. You should think about it. About what it is you want. Should you two be chatting? Oh, sorry, I'm just going. See ya. I mean, we, we call it a surgery. Don't touch that. Oh. Don't touch that. Is it OK if I clear these mugs away? Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> yeah. That's just if you want the order for Wilson's to go for first thing. Yeah, we're going to have to work over. Fine, fine, fine. Mm. I can make sure they keep at it, if you like. Yes, why don't you do that? You don't look happy. What did Imran say? It wasn't there. You see, the thing is, it's not a crime for a claim to see Shona. She is his mum. And uh, you're just going to have to make sure she has the full picture and knows exactly what he did. You know, you never cease to amaze me, Mum, of your knack of stating the bleeding obvious. I mean, you, she won't see me. I'll not get that through your fixed score. All right. Well, that's enough. You just have to wait till she will. Yeah, while he just fills her head with loads of lies. Well, 
shout at me if you want, but uh, what choice have you got? So is, it, is, uh, is David around? Uh, isn't he at the barber's? Ah, uh, this is Dale. Have you seen him? No. Why? Just wondered, that's all. What's going on? Nothing. <laughs> Nick, I'm your mother. I know that lying face. I've seen it for decades. Uh, uh, he's gone to visit Clayton. I tried to persuade him not to. And why didn't you stop him? What was I meant to do? Time up? Yes, if necessary. Oh, thank heavens. You see him? Um, I told Mum. I did. That wasn't exactly civil. What happened then? He's such a scumbag. I can't control myself. Oh, David. Like, I didn't hit him, OK? What were you trying to achieve? Well, he's been dripping poison in her ear. And she's believing him. Well, so he says. I actually think he's telling the truth, though, cos apparently she contacted him, not the other way around. So she remembers him and believes everything he's saying and I can't get my side across because she won't see me. Oh, love. Maybe she'll see me. What do you think? Worth a try. Anything's worth a try. Oh, well, if she does, you tell her that I love her and... not to believe anything he's saying. I'll do my best. You're on holiday, <laughs> aren't you, girl? <laughs> Thought all the kids were out for tea with Kevin and Jack. I can see why they do it, actually. It's quite satisfying. David, I know you're upset, but it's no reason to waste good food. Oh, finally. So what she say? Um... Uh, she wouldn't see me. Great. So we get a wall of silence while she carries on speaking to Clayton. She did have a message, though. Oh, really? She knows who I am, then? Oh, uh, her memory's not coming back. And to be fair, her key worker wanted to tell you herself. Well, what'd she say? She doesn't want to move back to Weatherfield. And she wants a divorce. You were up bright and early? You complaining? Far from it. You got Lily to school, OK? Yeah, across three busy roads and she didn't get knocked down once. Sorry. I'll forgive you. Got a lot on your mind. Talking of which, um, have you thought any more about what she said? Only all the time. Well, are you going to see her or talk to her? Mom, well, right now, I haven't got a clue, OK? OK. You know where I am if you need a sympathetic ear. Yeah, take away. Oh, they say to go at the other place. Sorry? What, well, instead of to take away, coffee to go. you got to get with it, Roy. I see no harm in resisting the march of American English. It's to go American, then. I won't say, get with it, Gavin. Ah, touche. How are the quads? Well, Gemma's still up to her eyeballs. I'm going round there later, give her an hand. I'll come on if you like. Could you, Alex? That would be brilliant. The more, the merrier right now, I think. I'll bring her a hot chocolate as well, if she likes it. Aha. Whipped cream, marshmallows. Leave it with me. See you later. Yes, girl. I would like four Eccles cakes to take away, please. May I say, I approve. They are becoming something of a, a quiet taste these days. Well, it's a taste I would like my grandchildren to acquire. Um, can you ask your son to stay away from Melina, please? I'm sorry. She went through enough last year. She doesn't need him mauling her. I don't know what you're talking about. You know who I mean when I say Alina? Yes, of course I do. Well, David's using her to get Shona out of his system and it's just not fair. No, there must be some mistake. Uh, I'd know if there was something going on. Do you think I'd weighed in like this if I had any doubt? She's a vulnerable girl, so just... I'm to back off. 
Right. No. So what's the verdict? What's the verdict? Who just said that? No, I said what's the verdict, not a verdict. On what? The Eccles cake, of course. I still don't know what a verdict means. We got you an Eccles cake, Daddy. Not for me, thanks. Guilty conscience spoilt your appetite, has it? What? You and Alina. Eileen's just had a right go at me for it. Yeah, well, it's none of her business. Anything that kicks off within a light year from her nose and she makes it her business. Mum, nothing happened, all right? Not from the one to trying on your part, by all accounts. What's your problem? Is it how I live my life or, or the fact that Eileen's on your case? My problem is what you're doing to yourself. And while you're working out what you want, I'm spending half my time looking after your kids. What's that? Do you know how close my head is to bursting? This can't go on, David. Oh, that's it. Slam the door. And that's all it was, all right? Oh, hi. Uh, go and sit over there. I want to talk to your uncle here. Ah, buenos dias, mother. Everything OK? No. It's not. Me and David have had a row. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm sure everything will be all right. And now I've made everything worse by tearing a strip off him. He's stormed off. He won't answer me calls. And, well, I'm worried he's going to be somewhere getting drunk and he'll do something daft. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's all right. Don't get upset. No, I'll go round all the pubs and I'll try and find him. No sign of him. And uh, he's not returning my calls. Maybe we should call the police. Really? He's only been gone a few hours. Yeah, but this is exactly what he was like after Josh. I'm worried for him. What he might do. OK. Don't worry. I'll find him. You know, I wasn't there for him before, but I am now. I'll come to town, I'll go to every bar, and I'll bring him back home, I promise. Thank you. I'm going out my mind, sat here. And the kids know something's on. You all right? Yeah, Mum's been worried sick. We both have. Yeah, uh, sorry for not ringing you. I, um, just wanted a bit of peace, you know? Got my head together. Right. Text, maybe? Where did you go? Went for a Chinese. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Uh, you know, ribs, wings, little pancakes. It's nice. So, while we've been worried sick, you've been out scoffing. <laughs> okay. Mum, it's fine, it's fine. Look, look. It's clearly OK, isn't it? Yeah, I am. First time in a long time. I wanted to tell me. Fool. <laughs> Do you know, I sometimes wonder why I'm marrying him. Right, remember the signal. Uh, Mum, can you just make sure Lily finishes running up loops? I'm just going to get the door. Is the tea in the pot? Yeah, just help yourself. Lily? Lily? What's up? She's gone. Who's gone? Lily. Well, she was just there two seconds ago, eating her only not loose. Yes, well, she's not here now, and the back door's open. Well, where's she gone? I don't know. She's not in the garden. Mum, I'll leave you alone for, like, two minutes. Do you think we should call the police? If she's run off... She was never here. Right, you phone the police, all right? I'm going to check the garden. April Fool! Oh, you... No, do you know how naughty that is? What do you say to Granny Gale? Was your idea? It, which is lying, Mum. Are you trying to drive me into an early grave? I don't know. Am I in the will? Not if you pull tricks like that. Not to mention last night. Yeah, well, I promise I'll be on my best behaviour from now on. Well, you're obviously feeling better. <laughs> Were you in on this? Uh, I kind of joined in at the end. Did you never look at the date on your calendar? Huh? I'll get you back. Right. Yeah, Scamp, come on. You finish your breakfast. Bring it on. And an explanation. Oh! Oh, David. I'm going to have found you. Come quick. Your car's on fire. You better go. Your car's on fire. I've no idea who that woman is. Look, can I sit down? Please? OK, but no funny business. Uh, just there. Oh, 
Oh, they are stacking up. Do you need some help? You know what? That'd be great. That would be absolutely fantastic. So we just take this. You set up in the break area. I've got some more uh, interviews to do this afternoon. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Uh, thanks, Alina. I could have done that. Uh, right. When? You could have picked Lily up. Do you know what? I think being a bit hard on Alina, she didn't know David was married, did she? Well, David does see more himself. Yeah, he needs to be. Can't put his life on hold, can he? Waiting for everything to go back to normal. I want Shona sure may never fully recover. Nearly done. I oh, she's leaving. She hasn't even to really put his foot down. Good for him. Daddy! Hey, mind the rules! Oh, how are you? Are you OK? School good? Rubbish. <laughs> Standard. Uh, how about we go to the park? Yeah. Have you got any homework, though? Mm, go on, go and get started. Are you forgiving me, then? I suppose so. We'd have you back to normal. I mean, it wouldn't be you, would it, if you weren't picking on me? Well, this is true, yeah. So the walk helped, then? Yeah, yeah, loads. And um, actually, I was thinking of going out again later on, if you could look after the kids. Well, I suppose I can find space in my very busy schedule. <laughs> it's good to know you found a healthy way to deal with it. Yeah, yeah, it is. Morning, Oh, Rolf. flipping, eh? Oh, sorry. We should make a bit of noise when you're moving about. I mean, for someone who never stops gabbing, you're like a... like a flaming ninja when you're gobshut. Yeah, my mum says I'm always unnaturally stealthy. Says I should wear a bell like a cat. Your sister's back. Hello. Oh. Happy days. If I'd have had to look at another picture of you dipping your toe in pool. Well, I've missed you too. Oh, you're back. Oh, it's our max up before eight o'clock. What's happened? I've got to practice my speech for that stupid outreach ceremony. What, the litter picking thing? I thought we weren't bothered about that. It's not just litter picking. Mary wants him to do the closing speech. I think he's a bit nervous. I'm not. Just don't want to mess it up. You'll be fine, mate. I'll go through it with you anyway. Yeah, and, and I booked us a table at the Land Rose for afterwards. So we've all got something to look forward to. Go on, Ninja Girl. Pulling all stops out, aren't you? David, that washing machine's only half full. If you'd have told me, I'd have put some more in. That is a waste. Mm. Bet you're glad you're back, are you? Right, I'm popping to the shops and I'll see you there. Don't be late. No, Gail's booked a, a table for us at Palandro's after. I don't know. I guess she likes the calamari. Well, no, I don't know if she knows about Leanne's issues with Valandra's. Nick, yeah, anyway, you're going to have to take it up with her, right? I can't be bothered. No, Max's bit's not on till right at the end, so I've just nipped home. Better keep my eyes open, if I'm honest. Mm. All right, well, if you get there before me, mine's a calamari and all. All right. Nice one. Bye. Because community is really about looking out for each other, and that's the best thing that we can do. Oh. Thank you, Max. And that ends today's ceremony. So it just falls to me to thank all the young people and all the volunteers who have given of their time today. Do you think you can reheat squid? Mate, don't sulk with me, all right? I said sorry, dinner. I'm not sulking. It's fine. You've heard it all before anyway. It would have been boring for you. Sounds a bit sulky to me. I'm not sulking. I'll go. Don't fancy your chances. Don't. What? Whatever you're going to say, don't. No, I screwed up today. You didn't empty the machine either. Not sure this shirt's salvageable. Yeah, I know. I'll sort myself out, Mum, don't worry. OK. Really? What do you expect me to say? Something annoying. David, you are the strongest man I know. 
I don't know anyone else who could have coped with what you've been through these last five years. You do what you need to, eh? We're a big family. We can help you with the kids. Tom. Just get to bed early tonight, eh? And don't spend all evening on that thing. It's bad for your eyes. And there it is. Mrs. Metcalf. When are you putting that away? Too many people staring at screens in this house. Uh, isn't that a television you're watching, Gil? <laughs> Good point. <clears throat> so what is it? Uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. So is it work nothing or nothing nothing? It's nothing oh, nothing. Oh, so you won't mind me having a look then, will you? Oh, dear. <gasps> this is about Gary. I have so much for a new star. Look, it's not about Gary. Amy told me that Rick's daughter's living with someone and she's bullying Asher. Revenge porn. What? Yeah. That's awful. Yeah, I know. So, uh, it's not about Gary. I'm just looking out for my cousin. Promise. I promise. Tim's in a right state. Him and Steve were up all night getting blathered. Could hear him ranting and raving through the bedroom floor. You wouldn't think it if you asked me, though, would you? No, no, you wouldn't. Special occasion. Oh, <laughs> birthday. Well, a very happy one from me. Thank you. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot what with everything that's been going on. And jump on my stately homes of England wall calendar and all. <laughs> oh, forget it. But uh, I am having a little birthday do this evening, if you're free. Just a few of us. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're probably not in the mood, either of you, but uh, there's plenty to drink and no kids, so if you feel like a distraction. Well, I'll mention it to Tim, but we've got Yasmin's bail here in this afternoon, mm. so. I do understand. Anyway, the offer's there. But thanks, Gail. And happy birthday. <laughs> well, it wouldn't surprise me. Managed to forget to turn up to Max's thing yesterday. Look, don't have a go, all right? Mum's already been pecking my head about her. Oh, you know how much it meant to him. Just mind your own business, Sarah. Family is my business. Do you know, if you spend more time with your kids, less time wandering around like some nocturnal tramp. Yeah, Mum told me you're such a weirdo. All right, that's enough. Can we at least pretend to be a happy family just for today? Well, what's so special about today? Happy birthday, Mum. Oh. Are you, um, not going to give Mum a card, then? Well, if you wait until I give a nod to the brass band in the garden, they can start playing happy birthday for her. It doesn't matter. You've got a bunch of flowers. I'm sure you must uh, pass a couple of petrol stations on your nightly drinks. I said it doesn't matter. Mum, it does matter. Does your mouth ever stop moving? Look, I know that you've got a lot on, but that doesn't mean that you can bury your head in the sand with the rest of your life, because, I mean, Max, bless him, he's absolutely devastated. Well, no, he's not, actually, because I gave him a fiver this morning. He was perfectly oh, happy. Oh, wow, great parenting. OK, ding, ding, back to your corners, both of you. Now, I'm doing a nice birthday tea here tonight at 6 o'clock. Adam's taking the kids out so we can all have a nice, peaceful time. So they've been turfed out their own house now? He's taking them to the cinema. You should be grateful. And I want you both here. No excuses and no arguments. OK? Probably. Promise. It's just wandering about in the middle of the night. Don't worry about Shona, I should think. Well, where's he going? Well, just walks about, he says. Well, he wants to make sure he's not mistaken for a prowler and getting tasered. Now, the bloke in the shop said this is all the rage, Portuguese wine. Uh, I was hoping you'd uh, give me a hand with Look, the food. Fino Verde. And you know what he said? He said, in Portuguese, Verde is green or young. <laughs> Isn't that fascinating, yeah, that? Yes, yeah. very interesting. So, uh, do you think you could make a start on the sandwiches? Mm. Oh, yes. Very fruity. Sandwiches? Mm. Oh, no, no. Thank you, darling. No, no. I think it was Coco Chanel who said, when you pass 60, you can either eat or drink, but you can't do both. <laughs> oh, no. 
So you've had one from your dad? Yes, he always remembers. Oh, bless him. Yes, dear Ted. Lovely gay Ted. <laughs> or dad, as I like to call him. Mm. So, who have you got coming anyway? Oh, just, um, family and close friends. Sally said she'd try and pop it. Oh, Yasmin. Yasmin's facing an attempted murder charge. Oh, yeah, I knew she had summer on. Summer on? Mm. She could go down for years. I don't like poking my nose into other people's business, thank you. Since when? Mm. Oh, this is lovely. I shall, I shall get it again. So I'll make a start on the sandwiches then, shall well, I? Well, I think you better had, yes, and then you can go and get changed. What do you mean, changed? Oh, no. Oh, dear, what is it? It's Sally. She can't make it. Yasmin's bail hearing. They're running late at the court. Oh, dear, these shoes. Uh, do you mind if uh, I give my feet just a quick soak? I mean, I can use the washing up bowl. The washing up bowl? Yeah, come on, quick sticks before everybody starts arriving. No, you can't soak your feet, ma'am. Who do you think you are, Queen of Sheba? All oh, right, don't have a go at me, thank you. I'm not having a go at you. I would just appreciate a bit of help. Yes. Oh, you're sulking. Do you know, you are always like this when there's a birthday coming along. You were like that when you were a little girl. Only because you never remembered. Oh, I mean, I always ended up having a sad little birthday party with me and me dollies, just me, Daphne and Mrs Winkleberry, while you played Cliff Richard at top volume with some random fella downstairs. Not true, and it would have been Elvis. So I would be very grateful if you could make some smoked salmon and cucumber fingers. Thank you. And wash your hands, you've been playing with your feet. Oh, what are you, the health and safety of Gestapo all of a sudden? And I want the whole loaf doing. Uh, maybe not the whole loaf. This is Nick. He can't make it either. Where is everyone? Oh. No idea. Maybe David's gone on one of his night walks early. I'm glad I didn't blow up those balloons now. Oh, no! No, come on! What? Oh, blow up a balloon. It's not a party without balloons. A party without guests. Oh, please. <gasps> Do you remember that party that I organised for you for your 50th? Ah, uh, I put a lot of effort into that. There were banners up and down the street and, oh, all were waiting for you in the pub and your face. You were so surprised. <laughs> I was surprised because I was only 49. Oh, yes, I forgot that. Well, it's so difficult to keep track, isn't it? If you keep ages, nightmare. <laughs> ah! Guest, we have a guest. Hallelujah. <laughs> How many of you do you add? Oh. Come and join us, love. Yes, otherwise we're going to have to drink all this Polish wine ourselves. Portuguese. Oh, I don't care where it's from. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't stop. I've got to go and pick the kids up. I've just come from a charge. Oh, yes, where are they? I thought they were quiet. Yeah, so Adam's taking them to the cinema so we can have the place to ourselves. Oh, well, that's yes, because as idea. you can see, we're full to burst. In. Yeah, except Matt has had a fight with Lily and Harry's crying his eyes out because he wants to watch something with dinosaurs. So oh. I'm going to have to go. Right, I'll see you later. Sweetheart, bye bye. Bye. Some birthday party this turned out to be. Well, I am just very glad there's you and me. At least we can have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love my grandkids, you know I do, but my God, they can be hard. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, I am so glad I had you, my darling. Oh, Mum. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Come in. Where have you been? For a walk. Where to? Birmingham? Mum, I finished work late. Well, I went out. You missed the party. It wasn't really a party, was it? More a soiree. Me and my mum quaffed some very fine wine from Portugal. You weren't missed. I get cooped up in here sometimes, Mum, with the kids and just have to get out. Where are they? Lily's in bed, Max is at Marion's. Sorry. In the nick of time. Just open it. 
card ain't going to make up for it. Just read it, will you? You've crossed out Mother and put Gail. Thanks, Gail, for always being there, for showing me such love and care. Thanks for all you've done and do. How I've turned out is down to you. It's true. Give over. All right, it was the last one in the shop. I'm not feeling very cheery anyway. Little Oliver was rushed off to hospital today. Really? He had another fit. I think it is epilepsy. Don't know. Nick went straight down to the hospital. They are bringing him home today, though. Right. Well, I'll ring him tomorrow. I'm going to bed. Mum. Happy birthday. Day up. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Mal, sorry. Any news from the hospital? Uh, Leanne's not rung now. Have you rung her? I thought it was a bit early. I was going to get the factory open up, but answer a few emails. She needs you, Nick. I look no. Me and Sarah will see everything ticks along. Don't hide away. I'm not. It was just seeing him there with all those uh, wires and tubes. I don't know how uh, Leanne's going to cope. By having you by his side. <laughs> Morning. Oh, I say. What does he take the dog for? Thing could do with the exercise. Oh, oh, there he is. Look at the state of you. Wow, I know they say that exercise is good for you. You look fit to drop. I'm fine. You drive yourself into the ground. You push yourself too hard. You gotta push yourself hard. It's like being chased by a pack of hungry wolves out there. They're right on my heels. You should come power walking with me and your gran. Fresh air, plenty of exercise. I mean, I know you need something to take your mind off, Shona. She's got an interview today. It's like an assessment, so. Right, I'm gonna go for a shower. That's a good idea. Yeah, so now yeah, I've got I just can't no leave. Nick, no Toya, and I've got four orders I need to get out. Well, according to Nick, they're you? reducing Oliver's sedation today, so he should wait. Oh, that sounds good news. Yeah, and Nick says, uh, have you seen Oliver's car? The red one? Yeah. They want it there for when he wakes up. Oh, he loves that car. Right, well, thanks a lot. I mean, and these people, they're meant to be helping Shona. Well, what is it? They're taking it to see Clayton. Why would they do that? I don't know. But apparently she said she wants to go home, and she doesn't mean here. She means the robes in the state. But this is a home. Yes, I know that, but she doesn't, does she? So they're taking her to see a little evil troll who tried to kill her. I mean, it's just... <sighs> yeah, me too. But not cake. No way. Well, it better be important. What to me eyes at the factory? It's David. It's always David. Yeah, but he's locked himself in his room. He won't speak to me. Mum, he's been through a lot. He probably just wants a bit of space. I'm just worried he's going to do something stupid. Like what? What are you doing there? Mum, call me because she's worried about you. Oh, I ain't got time for that. Neither have I. Uh, well, hang on, wait. Well, where are you going? For a run. You've been for a run. All right, another one. Do you know, if you want to talk... No, I don't want to talk, all right? I want to go for a run, and then I'm going to keep on running and running until I can't run anymore, and then, and then the wolves can eat me. Else? No, no, thank you. Hi. Do you mind if I join you? I don't like sitting on my own. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you like. What's in the bag? Eccles cake. Oh, 
I love Eccles cakes. Do you know, Max and Lily turn their noses up at it. I mean, who doesn't like an Eccles cake? Oh, Gail. I feel so flipping useless. Oh, join the club. I bought that for Oliver. Doesn't he like Eccles cakes either? He's on a feeding tube. Of course he can't eat a cake. I just wanted to do something nice. I feel surplus to requirements. Oh. Do you know, I've got one son who's running around, goodness knows where, out of his mind worried about his wife. And another one sitting with Steve at Oliver's bedside. I mean, it never stops. So what do we do? Oh, I don't know. Get back in the ring, ready for round two. What are you going to do with that, Kate? Oh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> oh. And you're with an album, right, are you? Right, I'm going to go. Um, Nick's not in today, so um, okay. we're going to have to get Michael set up. I'll see you Yeah, well, it, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Hmm. Oh, actually, could I pass you on to my sister and, and she can sort everything everything with you? Yeah. All right, I, I'll, hand, I'll hand her over now. Thanks, bye. Um, what's happened? Shona wants to come here and visit. Oh, my gosh, that's brilliant. Why does she want to talk to me, then? Because she doesn't want me here. What? Um... It's fine, right? Just little steps and all that. So can you just... Oh, um... Where are you going? Hi, Out. Alice. Out where? Dave! Um... I thought that's what the internet charity were doing. Mm, no, it's... I'm, uh... I... I'm sorry about all the kerfuffle out there. It's, uh, <laughs> It's not normally so... shouty. Well, that's debatable. Uh, there's, there's been an attempted murder next door. Mum. Well, she's got a lot to catch up on, then. Well, I expect that's why they're shouting. Is any of this looking familiar, Shona? No. Oh, give it some time. <gasps> I could show you around if you like. Do you want me to show you your room? <laughs> is that your little boy? Yeah, this is Harry. Harry! You want to show Shona the picture that you drew for? He likes trains, so he's drawn a picture of a train. That's a really bad drawing. Um, uh, I'll go and put the kettle on. Yeah, I think I, I could maybe take him upstairs for a bit. And that was... Shona's a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, she didn't mean to upset Harry, did you? Sorry. Sorry. No, no, it's OK. No, you know what, it's not. It is, this... This isn't working. Are you sure you don't mind having on? Uh, anything? No, sorry. Don't apologise, it's fine. We could go out into the garden. No, I'll get that tea. Oh, let me. No, 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 it's all right. Look, I'll... I can make tea, all right? I'm not a complete idiot. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean it was not... Oh. Oh, sorry. Is it a mess? N no, um, the tea bags. Well, I knew they were in here. I'm sorry, you've had to put your bags over the kettle. Shona? I don't think so. I, I feel like I knew they were there, but... I don't know. Ma! All right, my darling, one second. Well, that's got to be good, though, yeah? I'd say so, yeah. Uh, do you mind if I go outside? Do you need some air? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's open. You know, it's right. Do you think she's all right? Yes, but today's been a bit full on for her, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's feeling wrung out. Mm, I should take her back soon. Yeah, I do understand. Do you have a gate out of your garden? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. She's not there. Sarah! Yeah? Sarah, will you, you go out the front? Shona's gone. Down. We are going nowhere to Lee's in jail. Are oh, you just got out of hospital? This oh. is me down, down. <laughs> <laughs> the door. How could you lose her? She wanted to go out. And what, you didn't think to go with her? 
I mean, aren't you meant to be a carer? This isn't helping. No, you're right, this isn't helping. This is what happens when I let you lot look after her. I mean, I should have been here. Look, I'm very sorry. I've called the centre and I'm going to call the police now. But I won't bother with that. It sounds like they've got their hands full next door. Right, Mum, can you keep an eye on Harry? Yeah. She can't have gone far. That Alice will be here in a minute. It's good to see you. Don't do that. What? Look at me like that. OK. Do you want to come back to the house? Nope. Oh, here you are. Oh, so you found a way to Roy's then? Well, that's good. It felt nicer here than at your house. Yeah, well, uh, everyone loves Roy's, don't they? Right then. Pretty sure that's enough excitement for one day. Do you think we should head back? Oh. See ya. Bye. Bye. Well, it's an extreme step. Ask her if it's true she was skulking out to get wasted at the Byron Lounge. Byron. Seems like a strange arrangement to me. I mean, if she's going to live with somebody, it might as well be you. What's Roy to her, a boss she can't even remember? Yeah, but what am I? I mean, I'm a husband she can't remember. And I can't exactly force her to sleep in the bed with me, can I? I mean, at least this way, I'll, I'll know where she is. Like a menagerie, Roy's flat, with all his injured little birds. Well, I mean, it's 2020. We don't call women birds anymore. Uh, right. uh, listen, I'm all for it, as long as Alice thinks it'll work. Well, I don't know if it'll work. I'm just trying to do what's best. I know you are, look. Right, Lily, your breakfast's on the table. Good luck. See ya. See ya. Just take the picture. And, honey, can you put your phone down? Moron! What's the matter? Fernandinho's gone and got himself sent off. They're lashing in again. It's fourth one this season, that. It's Alice. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hello. Hey, I was just thinking, you should buy all black.